www.yarnlane.com or via our UK call centre on 0800 4 700 600. And remember, if you've already shopped with Sewing Street today, you won't pay any more postage and packaging for shopping with Yarn Lane because it's 1 p.m.p. across both channels all day. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. Oh yeah, we're on time, we're on time. Um, we are the only shopping channel uh, totally and utterly dedicated to everything yarn and we've got some gorgeous things for you today. Really, really fabulous. Love it, love it, love it. Right, what we'll do is we'll go straight to the website, uh, show you that you can buy everything on pre-order already. There it is, Yarn Lane. Click on Watch Live. And then what you need to do is scroll down the page and there is everything from today's show from stitch markers to the patterns, to the patterns with the yarn, to the knitting needles, the pom-poms, they're gorgeous. That pink one is fabulous. And uh, there we go. Oh, that is everything from today's show. Now, before we get Anakin to actually start knitting anything, I'm going to take you everything that's for sale, and then you can start checking out while we then concentrate on, on knitting for the rest of the show. So I'm going to start with this hat. Yep. Yeah, so the three products we're doing are this hat, which is called the Linear. I'm most probably pronouncing it wrong. That's the Linear. Then we have this hat, which is called the Henwood, which I love this. It's got beads on this one. There's the one with the beads. Look. Beautiful. The beads come in the kit. You get the beads in the kit. And then look at this. This is fabulous. Cowl. Is beautiful, isn't it? Got this in two colourways. This is called Cloudberry. No, Elliot, we don't need you to come and model, thank you. Beautiful, aren't they? Christmas gifts, or wear them yourself. They're just, look at that. Beautiful. Lots of things going on pre-order already. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Now, remember the voucher does include products from Yarn Lane as well. So if you've already popped some things in your basket from Sewing Street and then you think, oh, I'll just add that into my basket. Once you've gone over your £150, you'll get your £20 off. Right. So let me take you through what's for sale. So we start with the linear hat, which is this one here. I've got it in two different colourways. I've got it in grey and black. I haven't got it in this colour. This is Anakin's own. So that's also got beads on it. Now, you don't get the pom-pom, but I've got pom-poms available. So I'm just going to throw that one back. So we'll do the grey one first. Oh, it's limited already. Limited already. So you get the instructions. You, know, you get the West Yorkshire Spinner Signature 4 Ply. Uh, this is 75% wool, 25% nylon. And you get your silver beads. Beautiful, beautiful. I did show the beads on the hat. They're, they're interspersed on the... Um... Say that again. Okay. Right, then, if you just put, pop that... Oh, no, 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's a mini, a mini version, right? Look, I'll show you this, right? I'll show you this. With the little beads. This is the next colour one that I'm going to show you now. This is obviously the mini version. Yours will be full size. And yours has got silver beads on it. It's a hat, by the way. It's a hat. That's your linear black current beaded hat. Now, but you're, you're going to have silver beads in yours. You have silver beads in yours. Okay? Beautiful. We're going to go through all this. Don't worry. We'll go through all this. So that's the first product. Then we'll do the cowl, which I think is beautiful, which is very popular. Mmm, beautiful. There it is. I've got blue. Oh, well, I'll do this one first. I've got wine and cheese and wine. No. Um, we've got... Um, Bordeaux and, this is an exquisite colour, this one, Wisteria, beautiful, so you get that, that and the instructions, no beads on this one, this is, look, exquisite, West Yorkshire Spinners, exquisite four ply, this is 80% Falkland wool, 20% mulberry silk, no wonder it feels flipping gorgeous, right now, you're getting both of that, and that's wrong. You're getting both of those and Anakin's instructions for twenty nine ninety nine. No wonder they're flying out. Anyway, I'm not. I don't do pricing. It's not up to me. That's beautiful. We're going to show you how to do all of these in the show. Then I've also got it in a blue grey version. So again, you get the instructions. Again, you get the exquisite here. This one is called Regal. And this one is called Knightsbridge. Oh, we know which range that one's from, don't we? I'll have to move that out of the way because that's the colourway there. Be they can look stunning together, aren't they? $29.99. This has got silk in it. This has got silk in it. That's the Cloudberry Cowl. Right? And then last but not least, I'll just pop this on the table so you can see the beads on this one. Now, I haven't got it in this colourway. There you go, there's the beads looking, the lovely scallops there. We're going to be showing you how to do all of this during the show. I've got rainbow first. So this one, again, you get the instructions. Oh, they're lovely beads, aren't they? Now, they, they're not purple because they've got all different, color, all different colours of purple in there. Iridescent. I was thinking of, I was trying to think of a gemstone that looks like blueberry quartz. Like a blueberry quartz they are. So you get the yarn, you get the beads, and you get the instructions. Now, it's, it's variegated, or do you even call that variegated? Multicoloured. So it's going to create that lovely stripe effect, isn't it? It's the hint, all oh, these, $16.99. $16.99, that's brilliant, isn't it? If you think about it, well, I'm not going to go. Really good value. And then this one, it's like got glitter in it. It's like blue. I didn't even check what the colour of that last one was, did I? Silent Night, this one's called. Silent Night, this one's called. Nice. Look, and again, you get the instructions there as well. Little sparkles in there. Right, a couple of other things to show you before we get on with the knitting. Pom-poms. These are lovely. Oh, they feel so scrooges. Which They're very tactile. Which one do you want? Pink first. Right, okay, Cerise, this one's called. 11 centimetre pom-pom. Now, it's not, there's no fur involved. It's 100% polyester. Cerise hand wash. But imagine that on the, well, on that one, on that one, on any of them, really. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, look, you, here. I'll show you. It says, tells you on the back how to fix them and everything. So that's your pink. That's your Cerise. I've got it in black. Oh, is that navy? Do you apologise? Very dark navy, that one. It's nice though, isn't it? Oh yeah, you can just see. You can just see, can't you? Just around the edges. Oh, here we go. Elliot's thinking, in sunlight, it'll be beautiful navy. Okay, right, then I've got grey, which I'm sure it is grey. Yep, grey. Lovely. Yes, no, there's no fur in it. There's no fur. It's all fur. It's 100% polyester. $1.99. Oh, these will fly out at $1.99, won't they? 
Yeah. Oh, there's only eight left of the grey ones already. And then white from Winter White. Looks like the wrong graphics at the moment. There you go. They're all, they're all, I mean, even if you're going to get them for another, you know, uh, other projects as well, like one of Anakin's scarves, and you put them on the end of the scarf or something. One ninety nine white faux fur, pom pom. In white. Now, oh, well, I'll ask Anakin in a minute, but because um, when we do the beading, that's, um, you need a little, I seem to remember you need a really, really little um, crochet hook, don't you? Right, I, I'll I'll leave all of the I'll leave all of this on on pre-order and as, as we go through. If you want to buy any needles or stitch or the or the pins or anything, uh, you can get those. Or if you want me to show them, just let me know because I think we should get on with some knitting. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How was the tr How was the journey up? Uh, not too bad. Oh, okay. I think it might be worse this afternoon. Half oh, term. Oh no! You always pick the wrong dates. I don't know. You? I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as usual. These are all flipping gorgeous. Every single one of them is lovely. And the prices, well, they're just brilliant. I know. They're just brilliant, I aren't know. they? Yeah. Uh, what would you like to demo first? Well, I thought since all the projects actually involve knitting in the round, right. I would just, because it is a technique that a lot of knitters are a bit not that familiar with. Okay. Um, and I do actually have loads of tutorials on my website as well. But I thought I would just show how you would actually join to knit in the round. So um, the cowl and the hat, the uh, linear hat, uh -huh. um, the linear hat you cast on at the bottom and then knit to the top. This one you actually, the henwood hat, you actually start at the top oh, okay. and knit to the bottom. And what, and size, the, what size needles are you using? Um, 3.25 okay, on this perfect. one. Perfect, that's, that's what's in at the moment. the other two are both 3mm and 3.25. Okay, so if you want to, I've, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I will just interrupt. Right. So, this, is, this kit here has got 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 7, and 8. But, so if you get those uh, 3.25 ones there, and then you get your 3.5 ones in here, but this is beautiful Christmas presents, I'm thinking. So these are the ends of your needles, but then all your wires and everything you need are all in there. And it all comes in that lovely, we also do the crochet hooks in the same style, don't we? But there's the knitting needles in the round. Okay, lovely. Right, I'll, I'll stop interrupting now. Yeah, I just want to say the interchangeable kit of uh, the knitting needles are fantastic. My first pair I actually had as a Christmas present. Oh, really? And I have, they've been fantastic. Oh, there you so go. So I highly Christmas recommend them. Christmas present time. Something then. every yeah, knitter needs. Right, so when you want to join to work in the round, you cast on, on a circular needle. It doesn't matter which cast on method you use. And you want to make sure that you have enough stitches to fill the whole needle like that so right. that your stitches can go all the way around and then all patterns are worked in the round say join to work in the round being careful not to twist your stitches yeah which is like the most obvious instruction ever well no no but it's so difficult to get wrong yeah uh, but it's so every time i write that in a pattern i think oh and then i think yeah but the number of times i've twisted it yeah so we all twist them and it's not the end of the world you can then twist them before you start round two right but you basically want to make sure they're all not twisters, I just follow the cast on edge around uh -huh. just to make sure. If you've got a lot of stitches, say you're casting on for a sweater and you're casting on hundreds of stitches, then what I actually do is I knit a few rows back and forth before I knit in the round. Oh, okay. Just because um, it, it's easier to join in the round once you've knitted a few rows. Right. But for a hat, you don't need to do that. Okay, now are you going to be doing your weird kind of knitting this now, time? No, I'll, I'll try and do English stuff. Okay, first. right. Right, so you want to have the working yarn in on the right needle. Yeah. So the working yarn is on the right needle, and um, you go into the first stitch on the left needle. Now you want to put a marker where you join, right. so you know where the beginning of the round is. But I don't have a marker. Oh, do you want one? No, it's all right. Are you sure? Yeah. I've got markers. So you just put a marker on your right needle tip. Yeah. Go into the first stitch on the left needle tip, and I'm not very good at English style knitting, <laughs> but I will try. And you just knit it. Yeah. And then you just keep knitting. And what, you literally just keep and knitting? And it just goes into a tube. So if you're doing it the continental way, which I'm more comfortable with. You do, it, do it your way, because it your, it your you're obviously more comfortable yeah. doing that. Right? So you just keep Just knitting. for the viewers watching, what's the difference then between uh, like the British way and the continental way? Uh, continental way, the yarn's in the left hand. Okay. Um, English style's in the right hand. Right. That's the only that difference. it? 
stitches look the same, everything okay. else is the same. So then you just keep knitting. So that's how easy it is to knit in the round. Right. There's nothing difficult about it. You just have to so make sure. So it just sure. keeps going round and round yeah. and round and round. And when round. you get to where your marker is, you just slip the marker from left needle to right needle and then you keep going. So do you have to turn like on, like on a normal? No. Keep going. So you don't do a row and then no. turn them round to go back. You round literally and round just and round and round. Which means that you're only them. knitting right side rows. So when you get to the stocking stitch of this hat, yeah. you're just doing knit stitches. There's no pearl stitches. The only pearl stitches are in the lacy when you come rib. To the lacy bit. Um, but and you do all you carry on doing this on the round, all the fancy yep. bits as yep. well. Yeah, everything's in the round. Okay. Perfect. And then when you get to the top. When you're decreasing at the top here, yeah. you can switch to double pointed needles right. um, for a small circumference, or you can do what's called magic loop. A magic loop, um, you basically, I'll see if I can convert this to magic loop. Magic loop basically just means that you have half the stitches on one side, half on the other side, and then you have a loop at either side, and then you just keep knitting. Okay. I'm actually showing that on some of the other All right, then. projects I'm working on. So that's so. just knitting, that was just knitting in the round. Yeah. Yep. Off knitting around. Right, okay. So, so if we go to... Let's jump to the, because this is what I really most want to show you. Cause this is that is the probably, cow? Yeah, this is the cow. So this is probably what would maybe worry people the most. Okay. Um, so this is one I knitted up. Oh, so, oh, that's what the blue that's and grey one's going to look like. Regal and Knightsbridge, I think it is. Yeah. The yarn, by the way, is absolutely amazing. It um, is, isn't it? Right, let me just get my chart out. So if you're not used to reading charts, they're really easy. You just read from right to left. You can see all the numbers on the right-hand side. So you just go every row, right to left. Oh, now, normally on a knitting, don't you go back one way then yeah. backwards so odds yeah. will be that way and even to be that but way. because you're just knitting in the round you're not doing any wrong so you rows. go from the left hand side across so the first no. row in there would right. all be pink ones yeah so you go from the right to the left sorry right to the left sorry and then the next one you'd start again at right yeah and do two of the paler one yeah oh, okay and then obviously you keep repeating that till the end of the round yeah um 10 stitches and you've got 200 stitches so you keep repeating each Right. Row one, which is just one colour. Uh -huh. Row two, you just keep repeating it till the end of the round. When you get to the top, you go to the bottom again, and obviously the pattern tells you how many rows to knit. Okay, now Amanda's asked a question. We can do it later yeah. for Amanda, which said, please could you show how to do a pearl... Oh, you're going to be doing a pearl stitch. Yeah. How to do a pearl stitch continental style. I crochet, and I found continental style easier to try. So we'll okay. do that in a minute, because we'll be doing yeah. pearl stitch in a minute. And Donna says, I love Anakin's patterns. I've made several of her shawls. They're so well written. Thank you. Uh, right, so let me show you how to do this. Yeah. Um, so there are different ways you can knit with two colours, but the most common way is probably to knit with one colour in the each hand. So you just take one yarn over your left finger, under those fingers, and just hold it with your knitting. Mm -hmm. If it's feeding through too quickly, you can just wrap it around your little finger. But I can't do that because then it doesn't feed through at all. Right. And then you hold your other colour, uh, English style. You can hold them both English style, but this is probably the easiest way to do it. Uh -huh. So I'm going to start with three of the wisteria, I think it is. Yeah. So one, two, three. Oops. And then I'm going to do three of this one. One, hang on, one. I can't knit it. There we go. One, two, three. And then we'll do one of that one. And then, so you basically just keep can we switching. Just take, can we just take the other graphics out a minute? Oh, no, there you go. There we go. Okay. Just move to the left bit. That's brilliant. Thank you. Okay. So you just basically keep changing the colours as you're knitting. Right. So you just pick the one you want to knit with. Now, that the most seems too simple. Yeah, it's not as difficult as people think it is. Yeah. Um, you may feel like you're a little bit slower to start with, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, if you're knitting several stitches, I would say like five or more, uh -huh. what you've got to be careful about is that the floats on the back, so if I just turn this one, no, you can't see it on that one because I've got a lining, so I forgot about that. Right, if I turn this one inside out quickly, you can see on the back, it's got all these floats. Yeah. They're called floats, and you've got to make sure that they're long enough to cover the distance, the number yeah, of stitches. Yeah, if it's tight, it'll yeah, pull them up, Yeah, if they're tight, it? it'll pucker. So as long as they're long enough, then it's not difficult. And that's the most, that's the 
thing that most people struggle with is Did to you say have it was those lines, lines that one there then? Yeah, so I'll talk about that in a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no, no. yeah. I was worried that when you pulled that over your neck, you'd pull all of those yeah, threads, no, but you're no. not going to. Okay, so. so when you are knitting with several, when you're knitting several stitches, more than probably about three or four, yeah. pull them out onto your right hand needle, so oh. you stretch them out, and then go into the next stitch, and then knit with the other colour, yeah. and then pull them out again. And so that you're way, making sure the, yarn the floats the won't be too short. Yeah, perfect. Um, if you get further along on the needle and you realise a few stitches back they're a bit short, you can actually kind of feed the yarn through. Right. But it's a little bit fiddly, but yeah. you can do it. But um, that's the one thing that most people struggle with, is to make sure that their floats mm -hmm. are long enough. And you need to make sure they're long enough so that when you finish, it still has a little bit of stretch in yes, it. Yes, of course. It won't be as stretchy as plain stocking stitch, but it should have a little bit of stretch uh -huh. in it. So it's not difficult. You can do both colours in your left hand, both colours in your right hand, or both one in each hand. Right. What so do you do then? I do both in my left hand. Okay. So when you, this is magic loop. I kind of mentioned it quickly earlier. Yeah, yeah. So I have half the stitches here half there. You won't need this for the actual cow because you have 200 stitches. Right. But when you're knitting something smaller, you can knit it on a long needle using magic loop. Right. So you can use it when you get to the top of the hat. Yes. Right at the top here. Uh -huh. And you basically have half the stitches on the front, half on the back, cable up one side and cable out the other side. So when I'm going to knit on the other side now, I just flip my knitting over, push the stitches I'm going to knit next onto my needle tip, Pull the other needle tip around and then I can start knitting. And the way I knit colour work is actually both colours like that. Right. Which looks very fancy. But it's once you've learnt it, it's not too bad. But there's I wouldn't attempt this unless you're already a continental knitter. Yeah, oh, okay. But it's basically So don't don't put them on both on the same hand if you're just starting. You can if you're knitting English style, you can some English style knitters will hold them like over different fingers. Right. Or they will just alternate. Now bear in mind I'm not very good at English style knitting, but they will just basically knit with one colour and when they need the other one, they'll just, just drop the round. first one and bring the other one. Yeah, that that reminds so me it's of not my nan's knitting. Difficult. Them. It's not difficult. Yeah. Um, so don't think that just because it's two colours is really complicated. If you just take your time and do one stitch at a time, it won't be difficult um, at all. So would, this would you would you say it's um, would you say it's a begin? Would you be able to do it if you just started, or would you? Would you um, intermediate? Not complete beginners. Yeah. If you know how to knit and purl, you won't actually need to purl in this one. It's just knit stitches. Just knitting. Um, because the chart difficult. seems really easy to follow, so yeah. the only thing that would be difficult would be keeping the threads yeah. separate. And it's not it. difficult if you just take it one stitch at a time. Yeah. It's not complicated. Gorgeous. I think we tend to overthink things, and it's more like our brain's telling us it's too difficult. Yes. Whereas it's, it's not actually my life, that. too difficult. You just need to, like. Yeah, we have to do the inside first, it. Hayley, yeah. and then I'll recap the so, picture. So, this one actually starts, you cast on here. I didn't do the sewing up very well. I did you? Did it. you? So did you? Is that a completely separate one you've sewn on, or have you? No, no. So you start in the middle. Right. You knit these rows. Right. So what are they? They're just they're just knitting. strand um, stripes. Strand yes, stripes. stripes. <laughs> so you just knit in the round in stripes, um, and then you do what's called a pico round, which makes it. It's got like a very slightly oh yeah little slight scallop scallop there, yeah. which is basically knit two together, yarn forward which is very easy to do. And then you knit the colour work. Oh, uh, then you do then another Then you do another pico round at the top, and then you do the stripes, and then the and stripes then, meet And there's the enough middle. yarn in here to do all oh, yeah, of that? yeah, yeah. Right, I just need to recap those two bundles then. So the blue-grey one is in the, in the um, graphics at the moment. So you get the two colours, plus the instructions. And it's so soft, I can't tell you. You know sometimes you think, oh, I've got to have something woolen around your neck. You're really, really, really not going to think this is wool around your neck because it's so soft, isn't it? You've got your 80% uh, Falkland wool and 20% mulberry silk in there. I can't believe that you get two of those and instructions, 29.99. Beautiful. Oh, hang on. So if you were to buy this ball of wool, uh, this yank, hank, oh, I don't know what hank, it's called. Skein. Skein on its own. 
That's fourteen ninety five. So that's fifty. So that's thirty pounds, and then you get. Bargain. I hope you're not. We're not. <laughs> we haven't nicked them from you. Anyway, that's really, really, really good value. That isn't it? Right. Okay. That's the blue and the the grey, and then the. Uh, I don't know which one I like best. I'd have to do both. Yeah. So then you've got this one here, which was the wisteria and Bordeaux. Oh, the pom poms have sold out. By the way. This is why, well, yeah, we haven't called it the real name. It's called Bordeaux and Wisteria. We've called it Wine and Mauve. But again, twenty nine ninety nine. Did you make that jumper as well? Yes. It's not. Have we done that here yet? No. Oh, we need to. Anyway, so there's those. Is that your garden? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. It looks a bit of a mess. Okay, yeah, it's like a paddock because <laughs> you've got whole, oh, horses. No, no. Because you came over here to work with horses, though, I didn't did, you, originally? Yes, yes. No horses in there, then? No, no. Oh, okay. My husband wanted a little, like, wildlife patch, like oh, a flower. Oh, I've always wanted one patch, of those. Because we've got quite a big garden, but he doesn't like cutting it, so he, he was trying to make, like, a little flower meadow. Oh, excuse, we're going to have a meadow, but really, I just don't want to mow the lawn. Yeah, exactly. Because I'll just explain, I've not given away your life story, but you came over here one summer, yes. just literally from Norway, to work on a, a stables or a yeah. riding, riding school. Met a husband, never went, never went home. It's lovely that I love stories. Thirty like that. years ago. Yeah. Okay. Oh, apparently Haley did the same. She went to London. You didn't meet her husband there, did you? Oh. Oh no, that wasn't the husband. That was the boyfriend for the husband. Right. So, uh, anything else you want to say about the cowl at this point? Um, the cloudberry. Cloudberries are a Norwegian berry. Um, it's they look a little orange. The orange, yeah. The orange, yeah. I've got candles. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, they look like yeah. blackberries yes. or raspberries, but yes. they're bright orange, orange. aren't they? Uh, they grow in the north, in nor north of Norway in the Arctic Circle and they are delicious. I oh, know, and so they this make is jam. Uh, yes, uh, oh, yeah. listen to me. And this is inspired by the flowers. That's what um, the flowers from the yeah. cowberry. And cloudberry cream is the most delicious dessert ever. Do you have you it basically on Christmas whip, Day? Yeah, Christmas Eve. Christmas, oh, sorry, yeah, Christmas Eve, yeah. Um, you whip cream and then you mix in cloudberries yes we had that for our wedding oh did you just that no <laughs> no no i've had it on because i yeah. have christmas i know every other year sort of thing yeah, and yeah we yeah. used to have it yeah. it's really nice oh <gasps> and they're bright they're br they look like big raspberries but they're bright orange aren't they mm, yeah. anyway uh, half the stock of both of those have gone just so you know half the stock both those gone which project would you like to move okay. on to now so let's move on to the next Thing that people is, might be new to, which is the uh, Henwood hat. Yes. So Henwood is, as we're talking about when yeah, I first came yeah. here, that's actually the village where I lived when I first moved here. <laughs> that's the village where the riding stable was. Oh. And it's right on the edge of Bobby Moor, and it's, yeah, very nice. Right, the rainbow so, version in, first of all. So you get okay. your ball of yarn, your four ply yarn, which is wool and nylon. So you could use that to make socks with as well. You can, you? yes. Uh, and you've got your purple beads, and you've yeah. got your instructions. Not that one, this one. So this is one of the new Sandra Rhodes colorways for West Yorkshire oh, Spinners. Oh, we've got some of her, um, I guess. Yeah, this is Sandra's rainbow, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, they're gorgeous. Um, Sandra's rainbow, yeah. yeah. So this hat, I've knit a little mini version. Yeah. Oh, and look. I thought, so it starts at the top here, and then you knit down, and then you do the lace pattern. I didn't add, add beads to this lace pattern because I was in a bit of a hurry. So I thought I would show you how to do the um, uh, I cord cast off. I right. You can see it on that one. Might be better to see it on this one. Yeah. It's got like this tube on the edge. Right. Which takes a little bit of time to do, but it is really, really nice. And it gives you like a really nice finish. And, and what's it called? I cord cast off. We did this yesterday. Did you? I cord, oh, no, no, not on a hat, not a hat. We yeah. had a uh, um, Christmas bunting. Oh, right, okay. And the, fa uh, the father Christmas's arms and legs were I cord. So did you knit them or did you have one of those dolly no, things? No, we knitted them. Oh, right, okay. But we could see how you yeah. do it now. So, um, the pattern, lace pattern, will actually make a slight sort of scallop. Right. You can see it's just a very slight scallop there. It's gorgeous. Right, Hayley's so. got a question. How do I know it's going to fit? Uh, the pattern will give you the measurements. What happens if we've got a big head or a very small head? There are three sizes. Oh! Um, yeah, three sizes. Um, it gives you measurements in... Um, so it gives you to fit head circumference and actual circumference. Yeah. And then the height or the length of the hat. Yeah. And it also, the linear one, 
actually has the choice of like a beanie version, which is this one, yeah. and a more kind of slouchy version. Oh, brilliant. So that's all in, that's all that's in all the in instructions. The pattern. Oh, all in the pattern. Good question, Hales. Right, so, do you just need to measure? Yeah. Right, so we're going to do our eye cord cast off. So you want to start, I'm still knitting in the round, yeah. but we're going to do the eye cord back and forth. So you want to start where the beginning of the round is, and we're going to start by casting on four stitches. So you can either do a um, knitted cast on, or you can do a cable cast on. Right. So knitted cast on is when you go into the first stitch. I'm going to do a continental style, but you can do it English style. Yeah. You knit up a new stitch, you have the original stitch on your left hand needle, and then you put your new stitch, you kind of twist it and put it on your left hand needle. Yeah. And then you go back into the first stitch, knit up a new stitch, and put it on your left hand needle. Okay. That's the knitted cast on. Cable cast on is basically the same, but instead of going into the first stitch, you go in between the first and the second stitch. Mm -hmm. So you can see I've gone in between the first and the second stitch. Yeah. I wrap the yarn around, knit up a new stitch, twist it around and put it on my left hand needle. Yeah. Some people don't twist it, doesn't make any difference. Yeah. Go back in between the new first and second stitch, knit up a new stitch, twist it around and put it oh, on my left hand needle. Can you just step needle. a little bit towards <laughs> me, just a tiny tiny, that's it, perfect. Okay, so you cast on four stitches using either the knitted or the cable cast, cast uh -huh. on, doesn't matter which one, and then you're going to knit three stitches. So you can knit it English style. I'm just going to do continental style because I'm happy yeah. with that. And then Maybe you, you need to go to English knitting classes. I know a lot I do, of people who can I do, do it. I do. <laughs> um, and then you're going to knit the next two stitches together but through the back loop right. because it looks neater. So you just put your needle, right needle in through the back, yeah. two stitches at the same time, knit them together. So you've right. got four stitches here. Then you're going to slip those four stitches back, but you have to make sure you do it purl wise so you're not twisting them. Yeah. So you put your needle in like that, slip them back, and then you're going to knit the first one again, but now the yarn actually comes from the fourth stitch. Oh, yeah. So the idea is that you pull the first and the fourth stitch fairly close together. Oh, so you don't and you're to, making the cord, yes. Yeah, you course. don't want to stretch it out so it lies flat. You want yeah. to pull it into a tube. You knit three, Yeah. knit two together, hang on through the back loop. Yeah. Is this all in the instructions? Yes. Oh, good. And then you slip them back again, and then you knit three, and knit two together through the back loop. And you just keep going like that till you get to the end. After the docker rainbow's gone, the rainbow hat is gone, Henwood hat is gone. Okay. So, okay. so that's, the, that's, that's how you do the that? bottom. Yeah, that's yeah. around the cast on edge. Okay. Lovely. Right. Now, what else? I can't see the hat here. Um, we need to talk about how you get your beads on. And okay, beads. So, so right. the rest of the hat, is that just all knitting then? Yeah, so once um, the, um, both hats have a little bit of lace and a little bit of stocking stitch. So right. the so body of the hat on both of them is stocking stitch. And then okay, so let lace. me put the blue henwood in that next, in, so just in the graphics. let me just... No, 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 you carry on doing what you've got. To, oh, is that the blue henwood there? Yeah. That's a little mini version. Yeah. Do you Hang want on, it? Elliot's come. Elliot, look at it now. There it is. <laughs> Lovely. If you didn't, if you didn't put your fingers in, nobody'd know that was mini. You know what I mean? We could have pretended that was the big one. So we do the eye cord all around the bottom. That's right. Then we start with the eye cord. Right, yeah? Start at the top. Oh, you start at the top. Go down, and then eye cord around the bottom. Oh, sorry, I got that completely wrong. Okay. So how do we do? So the, from the top to the bottom is all knitting. Yeah. Just Shall knitting. I show you how to start the top? Please. Right. So all right. I'm yeah, just asking questions because I yeah. want to know. Yeah. So you've got to start with four stitches, which is not a lot. Right. Now I'm just going to cast on using the long time method, long, long time, right, long yeah. tail method, because that's the one I normally use. But yeah. you can use any method. Four stitches. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, Four stitches and then that's just normal casting on, yeah. Is it? yeah. Any casting method. This is a bit fiddly to start with, but it doesn't matter, it'll be fine once you get going. Mm -hmm. So, we want to try and split those two into if you're using um double pointed needles, you want to put one stitch on each of four double pointed needles, right? I'm going to use magic loop, so I'm going to slide them close. here, then I'm going to poke the cable out, and then I'm going to hold these tight while I push my cable right. through onto my needle. So I've got two on one needle and two on the other. Yeah. 
and I want to make sure that my working yarn comes from the bottom needle. Right. Don't worry if this looks difficult. Once you're sitting down at home doing it, it's fine, and you can use double points if you prefer. Mm -hmm. So you've got the yarn coming from the bottom needle. Pull the bottom needle forward and around. This needle is a little bit short. It's a little bit awkward to knit with, but um, hang on, I can do with a longer needle. Let me oh, just hang on. We're changing needles. Let Change me just plan. quickly get a longer needle. I love the way you just rip knitting off your needles. I know. Well, you hopefully needle. we won't need that again. Right. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're going back to that in a minute. <laughs> okay, I'll be panicking now. <laughs> so you right. cast on four. Cast on four, and then slide them around. Push them onto the cable. Pull the cable through. So you have two stitches on each needle tip. You make sure your working yarn is on the bottom needle tip. Hang on, there we go. Where is it? Make sure you don't start knitting with your tail. So two on the top, two on the bottom. Working yarn is on the bottom. English style, continental style, doesn't matter. And then you just knit into the first stitch. Mm -hmm. Knit into the second stitch. Now what I tend to do, because they flip around easily when they're so few stitches, I just pinch that, I grab that cable, Pull it back, push those back, pull the one with the working yarn forward, around, and then I knit those two stitches, and then I've knitted one round. Now, I do recommend putting a marker in when you start, but yeah. I didn't. No. And then I flip them around again and change the needles over. If you use double pointed needles, you don't have to do that. You no. can just go from one to the next. And then I'm going to do knit one. Hang on, let me just make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Right, knit one, and then I'm going to make one, which means that I've got to pick up the strand that goes between two stitches. Uh -huh. If you, it is a little bit difficult on the first round to see it. If you can't see it, just knit into the front and the back of the stitch. Right. Nobody will notice. So pick up the strand that goes between two stitches and put it on your left hand needle, and then knit it through the back loop. Okay. Knit the next one, and then Pick up the strand, and this one on the side here can be a little bit difficult to find, especially as I've got a very dark yarn. Um, put it on your left hand needle, knit it through the back loop. Okay. And then flip it over, pull the needles through. And make sure the working yarn is coming from the bottom needle. Knit one. I just need you to move towards me again. I'm a frightening you keep, today. No, I just keep, keep varying moving to your right. For some reason, I don't know. Um, I can't do that one. Oh. Hang on, I got the Hang on. split the arm. There we go. It's a bit dark. And pick up another one and do it through the back loop. And then you just keep going. So every other round you're increasing. As you get more stitches, it gets easier. So you start. You increase to eight stitches, and 16, then 32, then 48. So you uh -huh. increase quite rapidly. Yeah, yeah. And every other round is just a plain knit round. Brilliant. All right. Yeah, lovely. So uh, I need to just tell you as well, if you want to just buy the beads on the round that any of these got, they're all on the on the show page now. If you, we've got the grey beads and the purple beads. If you've already got some yarn that you want to do, or you've bought one of uh, Anakin's kits before that had beads and you want some more beads, they're all available on the website. So, um, how do we... Whereabouts are you now? Where, how do we get the, the beads, beads on? on? I've just grabbed the hat again just because it All was right. handy. But to put the beads on, hang on, let me put one on. So to put the bead on, hang on. Yeah. So what um, size crochet hook is that? 0 0.75 millimeter. 0 0.75, they're on the website. Really tiny one. Um, you want to make sure that your hook is pointing upwards. So if you can feel it with your finger, yeah. then put the bead on. Yeah like that. Yeah. Make sure the hook is pointing upwards. It's easier if you can hold your hand on top like that rather than underneath like that because you have more control. Yeah. So hold your hook like that. Put your finger on the bead so it doesn't fall off. Take the stitch off with the crochet hook. Yeah. Let it slide into the hook. Yeah. Like Ooh. that. Yeah. And then grab push the, the bead, bead over. And push it onto the stitch. And then put it back put it on back. the needle. And oh, so you don't actually do any crocheting. You're just no, using no. the hook yeah. to pull the pull, put the bead on, pull the stitch out, put yeah. the bead on the stitch, and then put it back on the needle. Yeah. So if I show you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, there we go. There bead you go. on the crochet hook. Yeah. 
Pull the Take knee. the stitch off with yeah. the crochet hook. Let it slide into the hook. Grab the bead. Uh, push it on. Yes, and then put it back on the put knee. It back on. It's not going anywhere then, is it? And then um, knit it. It means that it actually stays on your stitch so that you can actually see it on both sides of the knitting. Oh, it's actually yes. sitting on the stitch. So a lot of people put beads on where they thread it on in advance. Yeah. And that means that you actually, you actually slip it in front of the stitch and it kind of lies sideways. Right. And then it slides all over the place. No. If you actually put it on the stitch, you can see it kind of sits around the stitch. Yes, yes. So it, well, it, it stays, is a stitch, isn't it? Yeah, it's on so both it stays sides, where so. you put it. Um, so on the linear hat, it has the beads on the stocking stitch section. Right. On the paint section. That, yeah. And on the oh. other one, it has it on the... Um, lacy section. So that's the same, you do exactly the same thing when, you, yeah. when you're knitting the lacy yeah. bit, yeah. you just pull the beads up through that. Yes. Okay, right, so let me just recap those two hats then. So we had the rain, what's in at the moment? Rainbow's in the moment, let me just do that. So you get the um, beads, you get the Zandra Rhodes. Yep. Single figures on this one, single figures on this one. Uh, at plus your instructions for $16.99. West Yorkshire Spinner, beautiful. And then we've also got it in the, um, si I want to say Silent Night, was that right? Yep, Silent Night. So this one you have the blue sparkly, plus the beads, plus the instructions. $16.99. Okay. Um, make, well, make a lovely gift whether you knit it for somebody or whether you buy the pattern and the, the yarn for if you know that they love knitting. Right, so then let's go on to the... Um, What's this one called? Linear. What's Linear. that then? Is okay. that the name of a horse? So, no, it's, I don't know. I can't remember how I found the name. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling it was, I don't know, I can't remember. I just All right. like it. Don't worry. Um, right, hang on a second. It comes in the grey. What colour graphs are you putting in first? Grey. Grey first then. So in grey you get your bar ball of yarn. Which is your 75% wool, 25% nylon, plus your beads, plus your instructions, 16, I'm oh, sorry, 16.99. Will one kit just, well, no, you're going to have hundreds of beads left over. Yes, you? you'll have too many beads. But will you have any yarn left over? Um, for the hats, you probably will, yes. You can probably have, you can probably make two hats. Oh, okay. Not two big ones, though. So, hey, no, you couldn't have it because they'd be too big, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, two hats, you can make two hats from that. Yeah, well, one for you, one for your friend. Yeah, and then we've also got this colour, adorable black, but current bomb. This one's called. So you get your yarn, your beads, and your instructions. All the pom poms I think have sold out now. Sixteen ninety nine. Right, hang on a sec. Two left of this one. Two left of this one, which you've all checked out. Right. So what we need to do on this one is talk about. The lacy bit, yeah. is it? And is this when you'll do a pearl I will continental? Do a, I will do a pearl. Continental. Who was I'll that for? A Amanda. Pearl. Amanda, okay. this is for you. So again, in the both of the hats have got a lace pattern, and you can choose between the chart and written instructions. Okay, let's so have a hang on. We haven't looked at that yet. Chart so. there and the written instructions here. So you've got choice between chart and written instructions for both the hats. Okay. For the lace section. So if right. you see the chart and you panic, don't worry. Oh, okay. So you've got it written and charted for both. Yeah. both but again, fans. you read the charts from right to left, um, just like I said earlier on. So and will people who are knitting know, understand what that means? Because that's yeah. gobbledygook yeah. to yeah. me, that one. So if you haven't done charts before, just look at the written instructions. But I um, could understand that chart. This chart I could understand. Yeah, it's just the different symbols. Okay. Because that was two colours and the same yeah, stitches, yeah. whereas those different stitches are they? So, yeah. yeah. So you look at the uh, symbols and then you look at the chart key and it tells you, for example, the white square says knit, the solid dot says pearl. Oh, okay. And so the first row is pearl, knit two together, yarn over, knit two, uh, pearl, sorry. Right. So you just have to look at the chart key. Okay. okay, so pearl. So shall I start? Oh yeah, let's do, do a pearl for Amanda style. Continental. So there are two ways you can do Continental Pearl. Norwegian Pearl is what I do. Yarns at the back, you go between the yarn, into the stitch pearl-wise. Then you twist the needle around the back, pick up the working yarn, twist it back to the front, and then pop through the stitch to the back and off. 
Right, you need to do that again now. So, round the working round yarn. Round the yarn. Into the stitch purlwise, twist it around to the back, pick up the working yarn, back to the front, and you've got a big hole there between your needles, pop through that hole to the back pull and through. pull it off. <gasps> so that's Norwegian pearl. There is a oh. continental pearl as well, which means you bring the yarn to the front, but I'm right. not very good at that, so I'm not going to show that. <laughs> and also Norwegian pearl is better. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oof. okay. Um, I'm Norwegian, so I can say that. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, right, knit two together. And then you can do a yarn over, which is the same as yarn forwards. So if you do it English style, you just take the yarn to the front. Now, the thing is here, you've got to look at if you knit English style, is that you take the yarn to the front, but your next stitch is a purl stitch. So when you purl, you take the yarn to the front. Right. So if you do yarn over, and you think, oh, I'm going to purl next, but my yarn's already at the front. Yeah. So if you then purl the next stitch, you're going to lose the yarn over. Yeah. So don't do that. So okay. you need to do yarn over, and then you need to go round again for the purl stitch. Uh -huh. So you go yarn over, and then around again for the purl stitch. Right. And then you can purl it. Hang on. And then you will see that you've got a little hole in front of the pearl stitch. Right. Not that easy to see it because it's small, but. Yeah. So, let me, so then you're going to do another pearl stitch, knit two together. So if you do it continental style, yeah. you just go yarn over like that, and yeah. then you pearl it, pearl the next stitch. So we're creating the, oh, I see, we're creating the holes for the lace. Yeah, so we knit two together, yarn over, yeah. Pearl. So it's pearl. It's a lacy rib. Pearl. Knit two together. Oh, it's going a bit. Because it's on the first row. It's a little bit. Hang on. Let me just yeah. make. Why don't you knit a few and I'll talk about the thing yeah. and then we can come to the lace. Um, so what colour's in there? Grey one's in at the moment. These are very, very popular, the linear ones. Uh, so you get your ball of yarn, you get your beads and you get your instructions. Sixteen ninety nine. Or you can get the uh, black currant bomb. Again, you get the yarn, the beads, and the instructions. Don't worry, you're not missing. You're not missing anything. We're going to show you how to do the lace in a second. Anakin needs to have a few more uh, stitches on. Oh, there you go. A Amanda okay. says thank you. I'll play that back until I get it right. Okay. And Avril says I'm loving all the colours today. They're beautiful, aren't they, Avril? Really lovely colours. Right, are you okay. ready? Yeah. Yeah. So. Row one, you basically just keep repeating, purl one, knit two together, yarn forward, purl one. Right, and then row yeah. two is just purl and knit stitches. Row three, we're going to do another decrease called SSK. So we're going to purl one stitch, hang on, purl one, and then we're going to do a yarn over. So I'll do it English style, yarn over, which is yeah. just yarn to the front, yarn over, yarn forward is the same thing. And then you're going to do an SSK, but you have the yarn at the front, so that will feel a little bit weird. Um, slip on stitch knitwise, slip another stitch knitwise, and then you're going to put your left needle into the front of those two stitches from the left. In both, both the stitches. Both of the stitches yeah. from the left, and then your yarn's at the front, and a lot of people think that's wrong, but the yarn's at the front because you've just done the yarn over. Right. So you knit those two stitches together with the yarn at the front. And that means that you get one of these little holes. Oh, uh, okay. Before your decrease. Yeah. Um, so let's do that again. So you purl, hang on, purl one, purl two. Yarn over, so we'll do it in English. So sorry, I keep moving every okay. time I move my hands. So yarn over, that's continental style. Slip on stitch knitwise, slip on stitch knitwise, put your left needle into the front of those two stitches from the left. So this bit is the same whether you knit English or Continental. Yeah. So the yarn's at the, um, the right needle is at the back and then you can just knit that. What will feel strange is that you'll be knitting it with the yarn at the front. Right. So the yarn will be at the front when you go slip on, slip two, needle into the front, and knit them together. 
Fab. All right. Yeah. So you just keep doing that over keep and over doing again. Keep doing that. Four that. rows, four stitches, four rows or rounds rather. Uh huh. Keep going. Run, 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 run. Oh. Right. Um, how do I, I know this isn't uh, knitting, but how do we attach these? Um, so it depends on the pom pom. Some of them have. Um, this one's got like a ribbon. Hang on, can I? Yeah. Um, this one has like a ribbon on it. Yeah. So I think you can pro you can possibly use the ribbon to sew on with. What I do is I take um, some of the yarn right. I've used for the actual hat. When I cut, when I finish at the top here, you basically thread your um, needle through the last few stitches. So yeah. you thread your yarn through the last few few stitches. So I just make sure I have like a longer tail yeah. and then what I do is I basically just take the tail through I basically try and go through the central oh, pom pom okay. at okay. the bottom here. Yeah. And then I go through the hat, back up again, yeah. through the pom pom, down through the hat, back up again, through the pom pom. And I basically do that like loads of times. But I don't yeah, know. because what they're saying on these is if you tie it rather than sew it on, you tie it on. Yeah. And when you come to wash them, okay. you can separate it from your yeah. sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. But then I'd be worried that if I was dancing in my hat or something, the ribbon would come open, I'd lose So you could one. just kind of like, if you crochet, you could just use the, when you finish the hat, you'll have a, a tail left. So you yeah. can leave that tail a bit longer and then just like crochet a loop, yeah. small loop. Oh, um, yes, yes. And sew that on, and then you can tie it onto that. It's um, got a funny, what's in the middle of it? Is I don't know, some kind of core. It's, yes, it's got a core thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's what they, I don't know. Yeah. This one's only got like a little tiny core, so this one will be easier to sew on because yeah. it's got a bigger core. So, yeah, so it depends on whether you want to take the pom pom off or not. Of course. Um, I mean, I would only hand wash, I only hand wash hand knits anyway. Any. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's so on the run because it's polyester. So I would imagine that would be safe hand washing. Yeah. Um, the yarn won't run. No. So, but. Perfect. Is there anything else you'd like to show us quick, very quickly? Or is that, are we done with all the um, stitching? One quick thing for the yep. cowl, which I cowl, forgot to mention. Cowl. So when you do stranded colour work for two stitches, stranded colour work, feral knitting is the same thing, basically. Uh -huh. uh, does feral knitting kind of refer specifically to the um, Shetlands, where stranded colour work is more general for this right. technique. But when you knit it, so you can see this looks really nice and even. But oh. when you finish knitting it, it can look a little bit uneven. Now the um, yarn, exquisite four ply, which really is exquisite, yeah. knits up quite evenly, so it will look quite good. But if it looks a bit uneven, you need to block it. And I was just about to ask. Isn't that yeah. I was just about to ask. So you basically anything. soak it in lukewarm water. Yeah. Now remember, you have four layers of fabric, so it will take a while to dry. Uh huh. Roll it up to so squeeze out the water afterwards, just like squeeze it like that. Yeah. Don't wring it or anything. Yeah. Um, roll it up into a towel. So just roll it up into a sausage in a yeah. towel. Squeeze out the water. And then um, you can just lay it out flat and stretch it. To the so desired shape. What yeah. I did kind of was like yeah. that. And you can just like stretch it a bit and lay it flat. If it looks a little bit uneven and you feel like you could do with a little bit of tension, if you have the blocking wires that you had on last time I was here, then you can put blocking wires inside here and inside there yeah. and stretch them out a little bit. Brilliant. I love but you don't that have one. to do that. Yeah. Um, but you can do. Right, I've got to do a quick recap before we all go home. So let me do this first then. So the cowl in the in the blue and silver, first of all. I think you just had that in, didn't you? This is exquisite. I mean, it really is exquisite. It's called exquisite, but it's so beautiful, that yarn. You get two yarns and you get the instructions, $29.99. That's the blue and grey cloudberry. Then we've also got the wisteria and um, Bordeaux and the instructions at cloudberry. We've called it wine and mauve because we're not as romantic as uh, the West Yorkshire spinners. Oh, hang on. What happened then? There you go, 29 .99. Uh Then we've got the uh, linear hat in the black current bomb. Yep, with your beads and your instructions. Sixteen ninety nine. Okay, and then we've also got the one in grey. 
which has got the grey beads, the lovely grey, it's called poppy, oh, poppy seed. Okay, poppy seed. If, this is linear PS6667. Was your daughter not available for modelling for this? No, she was <laughs> They were both away at university. Oh, no. At uh, 1699. 1699. And then, last but not least, these beautiful colourways here of the um, Henwood in Zandra Rhodes Rainbow with your purple beads. And there's your pattern there. 1699. And then, last but not least, I've got them in the Silent Night with the grey beads, the sparkly blue and the pattern. Uh, everything else has been put on the website. So the needles are there, the beads are there, the pom-poms are sold out. That lovely set for Christmas gifts are all on the, on the website. Yarn Lane is back on, what day of the week is it today? I'm back on Monday. Uh, who is it on Monday, please? We, Jane, uh, Jane Crowfoot with uh, Rebecca Reed. With what blankets? Crocheted blankets. Uh, thank you very much for your company. Thank you ever so much thank for you. coming. Thank it's you been for lovely having me. to see you. And um, I'm back on uh, Sang Street tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So I shall see you then. <laughs>